what's going on? It's Jacob here from Woodsy RC and Reds RC Raceway. I'm out here at the track. I did a little raining last night. So we're gonna give it a go while it's a little bit damp. Sorry about the wind. Again, it's just been windy the past few days and we can't ever seem to get a break. But that's okay. Um, but also, not only are we giving the track a chance while it's damp, we're also looking at a used slash that I picked up. And this one, I wouldn't say it's necessarily wore out, but, um, you know, I've never drove it. I've had it, I haven't had it very long, but I have not drove it. Uh, only thing I've done is to is turn it on, made sure the motor worked and made sure it steered. So, I kind of preach, you know, buy you stuff and make it your own. So what I want to do with this, I want to uh, show y'all, you know, how it is to get just a used one and do it on the track. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, it may end up being, you know, not very good and I have to rebuild it, which is okay. But it may be outstanding on here and all i have to do is charge the batteries for it and maybe clean it which that's okay too either way it's all part of the rc hobby and experience when you buy used stuff and sometimes you get a lemon sometimes you don't but uh, even when you get a lemon you get to rebuild it and make it your own which is pretty fun too but like i said i just wanted to try the track out while it's a little bit damp and try this used rc out i'm gonna get this thing powered on and we're gonna start ripping Okay, so the wind died down just for a few seconds, so I'm gonna talk real quick. I'm gonna lay down some laps, let y'all see this truck drive through. The biggest part of today, the biggest reason, is trying out the damp track with this used truck. So, I'm just gonna let her eat. So, what just happened is, used stuff, you know, the shocks are just wore out. So, when it was hitting that wooden ramp, the springs just gave way, and it was bottoming out, and it was just flipping over the wooden ramp. So, when I hit that part, I'm just going to go around it.
the back tires are also pretty slick. I saw that at the very beginning. I just didn't know how well or how bad it was going to actually be. Just want to give you all a good look at the chicane over here. Baby. So I decided to go ahead and hit the wooden ramp. It's not, uh, if I don't hit it like full blast, then we're all good. Brushed electronics on this, by the way. The motor and ESC seemed fairly new. When I'm, yeah, when I'm goosing it up the, that wooden ramp, back tires are just spinning out. I'm kind of at a weird angle where I'm driving, so that's why I'm driving so terrible. I do like when the track is really tacky though like this because it makes for less dust, of course, and it is very... Very nice to drive on. Trucks handle a lot better. This one handles not bad for what it is. I gotta be honest, you know. This is, this isn't a bad, bad deal right here. This, all I have to do, different springs. This is all I'm gonna do to it is different springs and different wheels and tires. And it'll probably just be strong uh, stock Traxxas tires for it. I'll just have it as a spare in case someone doesn't have one. Or there's brakes or whatever, you know. As y'all have seen this, my red slash that I use to race the spec brush class out here. That's what I'll drive. Guys, it's super windy, and uh, I think it's gonna start raining on me. So, I'm going to wrap it up right here. But, just for the record, U slash, decent shape, wore, some wore out shock springs, and some wore out back tires. And that's pretty good on this track. I'll take it. Quick video today, guys. Appreciate the love and support. Be on the lookout for a uh, new RC coming to Red's RC Raceway, something we haven't done before, kinda. We've done stuff like it before, but it wasn't as race inspired, I guess you could say. But guys, that's the used tracks to slash. This is the damp Red's RC Raceway. I love how they both feel for this being a used slash and for it raining last night. Guys, I appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed one. And have a great rest of the week. Thank y'all. It's too early for this.